An only child walks from the school to his home room to be abused and used as a way to spill feelings out. He's always been called worthless, lazy, and a faggot. After his daily name calling from those who should love him, he retires to his room, a heaven within the hell of his life. He does all he can. Oh, so oh my God. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Sometimes he likes to write poetry while the hate for the world burns like the fires in hell. He does all he can. He gets good grades, but he still gets his daily abuse. And worse, the hatred from those who should love him gets worse, and the pain grows stronger. He tries to not let it get to him, but his parents don't love him. He even gets told he was a mistake. He gets told he ruined their lives. Sometimes, the feel, he likes the feel of a sharp blade across his skin. But one day, it went too far. He came home one day and saw two drunk parents fighting over a bottle. Smirnoff vodka. They turned to his attention and unannounced to them, he got in a fight. Then they saw the eye. Puffy, purple, black and brown, his father sees him and beats him senseless. He feels pain, hate, and everything a suicidal teenager feels. Hours later, his already drunk parents get even more wasted, and eventually, they calm down. He gets into their room, grabs the family gun. To be exact, a 12-gauge shotgun, double barrel, sawed off. He steps in front of the TV, but all they see is the gun they freeze up. They saw. They say, put the gun down, son, please. He begins to cry. He tells them, tells them he is sorry for being a mistake. Quickly, he puts the barrel under his chin. His father calls him a pussy, tells him he won't do it. He stops, and only for a second, puts it back in position, pulls the trigger, and now lies on the ground. All suicides preventable, but not this life not meant to take. Too much pain till break, boiling point reached, trigger pulled. Friends not reached, were not good enough. One friend to call all he needed. <laughs>